let's do right print hello earth in rust js python assembly ruby c plus plus c go html Okay, so what you just saw was a small but very fun project I've been working on lately, so I wanted to share this. So basically, I call it just a local real-time LLM preview. So let me try to explain how this works now. So basically, we have like a Python program, of course. Uh, we use threading, and when the user does an input, we capture this with, I think it's import keyboard. And after three white space, I just call it that, basically it's a spacebar push, we do a new call to the LLM. So for each time we press space, we can also do backspace to reset the counter, I will show you that. But for each time we press space, we send a new call to the local Mistral 7B Phi 2 we are running on the LLM studio. And this will display the output from the local model for each time we press space, right? The reason we can do this is because we are running the update preview function in the background thread, allowing the main program to simultaneously capture and process keyboard inputs without interruption. So this is kind of like a, yeah, you can call it a parallel function, uh, but it works pretty good and was very easy to set up. So yeah, let's just dive into a bit more of the code and let me show you what you can do with this. So yeah, like I said, let's take a quick look at the Python code here. So we have a Mistral 7B function. Basically, this is running on the local server from LM Studio. We have now deployed the Phi 2 model. That's very quick, so it's really fun to use. But we can also do like the Open Hermes 2.5 Mistral 7B. And basically any kind of model you want. And we have the update preview function. So this is kind of where we update our preview, <laughs> right? So we can set a number of characters here that kind of restricts when we are able to update this preview. Uh, so I've just set it to 14 characters. You can do like 60 if you want a longer input prompt before we start calling it. And yeah, this is calling the Mistral 7B function. We save the output to a preview text file. So this is basically, so if the user hit enter, we can return this. And here is the capture input function, yeah. We have some globals here, so we want to count how many spacebar we have pressed. And the latest prompt. So the reason we have this counter for each spacebar is uh, if the spacebar count is over 3, bigger than 3, then we should start a new thread. The, to update the preview, right? Uh, we can adjust this, so if you want every fifth space, you can have that. It's kind of up to you. Uh, backspace, this kind of removes a counter, right? So if you want to erase the whole thing, then we got to start back on zero. So if you have just put a prompt, we erase the whole thing, then we are back to zero again, right? And that is basically it. There are some other details here, but I'm not going to go too much into it. And yeah, we also have a system prompt for the for the Mistral 7B, so this one I had was to, I gave a couple of few shot examples here. So in only one paragraph, always try to auto-complete the user message and give an answer. I had this fun one here I created, so you're a 4chan Reddit style, use rude and expect language like a web troll. I might test that, it's a bit, yeah, rude, but we'll see, maybe I'll try it out. So yeah, pretty basic setup. Uh, we also have like an interface, so we have an app here that is running an index.html and yeah, pretty basic setup. You can alter this as much as you want, but that is basically the whole thing. Really fun project, so let's test it out and see how we can use this. Okay, so when we run this now, we just get a blank text box, so we can start writing. What is the biggest... So now we have three white spaces, right? So the next should do a call to the API, so when we do that, yeah, okay, let's do mount, so this should understand that we are looking for the mountain, so we can do mountain in Nepal, yeah, USA, so we get uh, Mount McKinley, let's do Japan, Mount Fiji, let's do France, so yeah, you get the point, so this is working, so we can remove all this now, now we kind of reset the counter, we can do if 2 is bigger than 1, is that true? So we say, yeah, the statement is true. So we can do coding here. Uh, so this works. But what I like about this is if we move all this now, we can just bring up 
since we are running like keyboard input so we can just bring up like a notepad so we can do what is the biggest and you can see it updates again because we can capture the keyboard inputs we don't have to do it in the terminal uh, so I think we're gonna end it here now and we're gonna switch up the model and let's try to write an email Okay, so for the email, I don't want to use Phi2, I want to change up the model. So let's go to LM Studio. Let's pick the Open Hermes Mistral 7B. So we're just going to load that model. I'm just going to check. Yeah, we have GPU offloading. We can put up the context window to 496. Okay, so reload that. Then we can just start our server. And we should be ready to go. But I kind of wanted to try to do this more risky system prompt here so let's change that up let's do chatbot 2 so this could be a bit explicit but it should be really fun okay so now we are kind of ready to run this okay so let's run this but i kind of want to use the notepad so let's bring that up okay so let's say i wanted to write an email write a concise short email right so hopefully Wow, that's a harsh language. I'm not gonna repeat that. To my boss. So you can kind of see this model is a bit slower, at least on my end, friends. Hey there, you filthy animal. <laughs> Tell him to. Now it's updating like in, I wouldn't say it's real time, but we don't have to kind of refresh it. Hello boss, I've been working my ass off, but I need you to step up and provide some guidance. <laughs> okay. Don't make me come in there and kick your ass like I'm the boss around here. Go himself. Let's see what happens now. Time to take a hike, boss. Just wanted to take a shot at your quick message and let you know that your recent decision has been effing terrible. You can stick your job up your ass. <laughs> okay. My name is Chris. My boss's name is Jeff. So now we did a lot of inputs. So this is going to take a time to update, right? But you can see it on the right here. We are updating all the time here. Uh, yeah, the language is pretty harsh here. So I'm not going to read anything out. Uh, but yeah, now you can see we get your sincerely Chris. Hopefully we can get the boss's name in the final emails here now. Uh, a piece of mind for Jeff. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's say we weren't happy with this one. We can just do backspace space. And uh, this should update. A few words for you, Jeff. Hey there, Jeff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pretty funny to do this kind of system prompts. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. At least one thing's for sure, you won't get this response if you're using like an open AI, Anthropic, Bard, etc. API. So that's what I kind of think is very funny using these local LLMs, right? So yeah, that is what I wanted to share with you today. Very simple but fun project. If you want access to this and support me, you can always follow the link in the description, become a member of the channel. You will get access to all my uh, scripts I will upload to the community GitHub. You will get access to the community discord have a great day and i'll see you hopefully on wednesday it might be thursday but we'll see bye bye